What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. This one's a bit niche and I haven't seen anyone else talk about this topic. In fact, it's one that I've thought out myself. I, like a lot of other people, tend to stream a lot of games and other things on Discord. And of course, as you can see, I'm currently in a channel with someone and I'm currently live streaming my desktop there's that little effect that we see. If I were someone else on the Discord, say a different user, I've brought across a different Discord account and a different Discord client over here. As you can see, I'm not connected to any voice channel. In fact, I can join one right below to demonstrate that I am a different user. If I were to hover over my username here, you'd see that I'm currently live and you can see a preview of what I'm looking at. And as you can see, if I move across to a private channel that I don't have permission to join, you'll see that the preview now vanishes. Of course, if someone does have permission to join and they hover over the channel, they'll see the preview as they normally would. While this does give you some privacy from everyone on the server, if you're trying to show something that you don't necessarily want everyone to see, you will still have a preview for everyone who can actually join the channel and has permission to use video there. In fact, let's just double check that. I'll give everyone the video permission in this channel and see if that changes anything. While I can't join the channel, it seems I'm still unable to see the broadcast. Regardless of that, how exactly do we hide this video preview from people who shouldn't really be snooping as that little preview can of course give a ton of information about what you're doing when you may not necessarily want that to happen. Or we'll have to join the channel first to begin seeing what you're streaming. Well, it's actually incredibly simple. This screen share button over here allows you to share your screen, yes, but it also gives you this video preview over here that people can click on to start watching and they'll join the voice channel with you. That's simply using the video button over here. Now, of course, if you have a video camera attached to your PC, that's what will be streamed. But as you can see, if I click the video button, my desktop is now showing up here and I'm streaming it almost exactly the same as I would be using the screen share button over here. For me, it's currently reversed where the left is on the right and things are a bit confusing, but for other people, it's perfectly correct the right way around. This is of course just so you can understand yourself better when you're looking at yourself on the screen. It acts as a mirror so everything's reversed for you but for everyone else it's the correct way around. If I were to look in my alt account you'll see that hovering over myself all we can see is that my microphone is muted and that I have video enabled. But if I join the channel you can see that I'm streaming everything properly and it's appearing the right way around. And even a curious soul joined to see exactly what was happening there. Why? Well, because they couldn't see the preview while I was screen sharing. That's actually pretty funny. But regardless, you can see that it works. So how exactly do we get our desktop to show up as a camera inside of Discord? Well, it's actually incredibly simple. All you need on your computer is OBS Studio. The newest versions of OBS Studio come with a virtual camera built into it. So assuming you've freshly gone ahead and installed OBS Studio, what do you need to do? Well, over here where you see sources, click the plus, then either click Window Capture to capture a specific window or click Display Capture preferably. After clicking it, you'll see the name up here. Simply click OK, anything is fine. And then you'll see this window. Simply select the correct display and hit OK. After doing this, you should see a video preview over here. If you don't and it's simply a black screen, check the description down below for a video on how to fix that. But let's assume that it's working. After doing this, all you have to do is click Start Virtual Camera on the far right hand side. If you don't see it, make sure that your OBS is completely up to date. If you still don't see it and you have to end up using a plugin to do this, check the description down below for a guide on how to install and set that up. Regardless, now that we've got the virtual camera running, all that we have to do is open up our Discord, head into the user settings in the bottom left, then down to the voice and video section, and inside of here, simply select OBS virtual camera from the video settings tab. Then you can click test video and you'll see exactly what we'll be outputting into Discord through OBS. Now, of course, the one downside to this method is that you won't have sound. If you're gonna be streaming your desktop, you probably don't need sound anyway, as desktop streaming doesn't have audio included. So unfortunately, if you were to stream a game, it would have no sound, but at least you'd have a preview that other people can't snoop on. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!